Hello, this is John Sims with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to take the Avaya SIP CA certificate in PEM format and import into the Avaya IP Office or B1500 Branch Gateway Trusted Certificate Store. Before I get started with the demonstration, first a bit of background about the Avaya IP Office and B1500 Branch Gateway Trusted Certificate Store. The certificate store contains a set of trusted certificates to evaluate received client certificate requests. The trusted certificate store can store up to six X509 version 3 certificates. And the source of these certificates can come from four sources, either from a current user local machine certificate store or from a file in DIR or SIR format. Or, as you'll see in this demonstration today, we're actually going to take a PEM formatted file, including the header and footer, and paste it into a applet that's available to us to import the certificate into the Trusted Certificate Store. So to prep for this demonstration, what I've done is I've actually downloaded the 96xx bin files and the SIP bin files actually and what I have here is the Avaya SIP CA certificate in PEM format and at Avaya we make it easy to edit by giving it a .text file association so to get started I'm gonna right click this file and select edit now I like notepad plus plus but in this case I'll just use plain old-fashioned notepad and you see the begin certificate and end certificate header and footer we're going to include all of that so I'm gonna highlight all of that text and then right click and copy therefore putting that into our clipboard buffer so now you see I'm in the Avaya IP office manager client and I'm going to go to file advanced security settings and the purpose is to actually pull a security configuration into the manager client so as you see here I'm going to provide the proper credentials and we're going to get a warning because I have it set for a default system right now so we're going to get the default warning that we have our passwords are all set for default but I'll hit OK to that I'll head to system certificates tab now you see we have a defaulted system as I mentioned a B5800 and you see the B5800 MAC address um, identity cert and in the trusted certificate store you see we have nothing installed so keep in mind that maintenance releases of the B5800 now deliver the SIP CA certificate into this trusted certificate store by default but the initial release did not and also this demonstration is also valid for a third party certificate that you want to copy into the trusted certificate store of either the IP office or B5800 for TLS or other purposes. I'm going to simply select add and then we have our four options we mentioned in the initial slides of how to import the certificate. I'm going to select the last option which is the paste from clipboard option so I'll select that and then I'll hit the OK button. Now we have a certificate text capture applet to make use of. So if I click in the window of this applet, I'll then do a control V and paste the information in, including both the footer and the header of the certificate of this PEM formatted certificate and then I'll click OK and you see here I've imported successfully the SIP product certificate authority certificate into the trusted certificate store of this B5800. I'll click the view certificate head to details and it's here we can further examine the certificate we just imported into the trusted certificate store so I see the issuer is Avaya I see that it's valid from 2003 and good until 2027 I also have an option here to copy the certificate back out to file I won't elect to do that now I'll click OK and then in the lower right corner I'll click OK again to accept the changes on this configuration form and then the last thing to do is to actually save the config which I'll do in the upper left corner clicking the floppy disk save icon and this completes our demonstration Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.